How's it going there, everybody? This is good old Chuck here. I'm going to do a little pedal review for you today. Um, it's the Electro Harmonics Holy Grail Reverb. That's right. If only King Arthur were alive today, his search would be over. Now, this reverb pedal has three different settings. It has a spring reverb setting, a honk setting, and uh, what they like to call flurb, which is uh, it's basically just a flange crossed with a reverb, and it's really nifty sounding. You'll get to hear it in a minute. Now, here's my dry sound. <laughs> about as uh, bare bones as it gets there. So why don't we kick this on here, the spring reverb. Now this, the reverb control right here just acts as a wet dry. So uh, all you do is just blend the uh, original guitar signal with the reverb with this. We're gonna set it right past 12 o'clock, which is where I like it for the uh, spring setting. We'll see what that sounds like here. You see it has a very realistic spring reverb sound, just like you hear it in an amp, maybe an old Fender amp, twin reverb action. Now I'm going to crank it up a little more there. You can hear what that sounds like with a little more of the wet signal. Now, if you want to crank it up all the way, you're going to get a real, that's like all the way up, you're going to get a real saturated sound. There's, sounds like it's back in a tunnel somewhere. back up on it a little bit there. Now this is a Les Paul, so I'm not going to get a ton of twang out of it, but you can get a nice surfy uh, Ventures style kind of sound with this pedal. That's all I remember of that song, so I'm not going to play anymore. But uh, Okay, we're going to move on to the hall setting now. Now, the hall setting's really lush and really comes into the signal a lot quicker than the um, spring sound does. It's not quite as uh, subtle as the spring sound. So I'm going to see where I have it right there. Let's give a listen to the hall verb. <laughs> kick in a little bit before 12 o'clock. Hear that. see as I get further with the wet signal on this the guitar sound becomes more recessed and kind of kind of gets pushed back it has a lot of depth and a lot of uh, like I said earlier it kind of sounds like you've got it in a cave or a tunnel or something <laughs>
incredibly useful for most applications, but it's pretty cool nonetheless. Here's that hall all the way up. Let's uh, move to the flurb setting, which we talked about earlier. And this is really cool. It's about my one of my favorite things about this pedal. Really unique feature that I haven't really seen on any other um, pedals like this. So let's give it a listen. Now you can see when I stop playing there, as it decays, it has a a flan or kind of a slow flange. I'm gonna turn that up a little bit more so you can hear it a little better. that flurby sound all the way up. Let's see what that sounds like. there you have it I think that's a pretty good uh, overview of this pedal um, so if you like what you hear you know check it out um, my only complaints as uh, is with a lot of electro harmonics pedals as you can see the construction that's just plastic right there so uh, the more you keep these off the floor the longer they're gonna last in my experience but uh, no one really makes pedals that sound quite like electro harmonics pedals, so uh, that's why they're so popular and still in demand. So, see you later.